Okay, so we're recording. So welcome to Cozy Acres. Uh, this is uh, my reef build. I'm just starting out with it. Uh, I've had this uh, aquarium since, uh, uh, hell, this could be about 20 years. Uh, actually more like, yeah, 20, 30 years. Yeah, I, I bought this when I uh, was running a Jack's Aquarium and Pets back in the day in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, actually out in Claremont County, but yeah, I had my own store. Yeah, well, that's the focus. That looks bad. Okay, there we are. And uh, so I bought this. And uh, I've had it forever. And I decided to set it up for a reef. And so, and I was sort of already set up for reef to begin with. Since I have a reef filter for it. This is coming live from my from my man cave, and I'm going to be doing a lot of videos down here. I like YouTube, and I kind of want to uh, get back to love. And you know, if you're uh, starting out on the reef reef build, huh? well, come along with me. Well, I'll go through the whole step by step process. This is actually going to be a showpiece for my business, Lamp Rubber Marine. I used to work for a wholesaler down in Marathon, Florida, uh, and uh, we uh, ship sharks uh, out, uh, rays, uh, eagle rays, uh, moon jellies, all that big stuff, nurse sharks, they were, you know, five foot suckers, and then uh, we shot, you know, we uh, set out queen angels, you know, standard spare, live rock, so I'm going to start out with about 200 pounds of live rock. My system, basically. So I, uh, I got to, I had puka shell in here, and I filled it with uh, also some uh, Hawaiian, pink uh, Hawaiian, uh, Samoan sand. I guess they call that shit. Anyway, and it, uh, I, uh, I was stupid. I dumped that shit in there without uh, rinsing it, and it. Uh, it turned it into a fucking milkshake, so <laughs> pardon my French. Anyway, uh, I probably will get demonetized. No, I'm not even monetized, so don't, there's no worry. Anyway, so uh, so I got a reef filter. Uh, I started out. It's a sea reef. Uh, yeah, there you go. Sea reef. It's acrylic. It's got it's got your bio balls there, and then. Uh, it's got a, a thermometer here, and then there's my uh, there's my pump. I, I got a new one. It's a quiet one. Uh, it's the largest one they have. I think it's a six thousand. And then it has a, uh, a little uh, cutoff valve, so in case I have to service it, I won't have to drain the, uh, the system. Uh, also, I, there's some other things. I got a UV sterilizer. I'm thinking about adding. And probably a skimmer but we haven't gotten that far yet and want some of the cool stuff back in the day we things were a lot different you know, the lighting for sure and this is the, the new lighting system I got for it it's a loop system and uh, that puppy's cool uh, it's got a it's got a remote here and uh, it does all kinds of crazy ass stuff. Let's see. I uh, hope it's got to turn it around the other way. There we go. So let's wake it up and see what. It, oh, yeah. So I should shut my light off. And then I can, uh, I can put it back today, I think. Hang on. Oh, well. There we go. So this is, this is day. And uh, this is a uh, night. And then uh, the nicest thing about this thing is it uh, actually simulates sunrise and sunset. But I ain't gonna spend all that time doing that. And then you can uh, you can simulate a storm.
And it's got two storm settings. There we go. And, and that's just wicked, me in my book, man. I mean, is it, this, is, this, this is just puts the old school stuff to shame. Uh, and then I got the, uh, let's see, uh, hold on, let's get the light back on. Let's bring the daylight back on. Or well, let's just make it on. Oh, night. Oh, this is moon night. Oh, moonlight's nice. So this is um, these are my little E. We call it the E flux system, and it's got little magnets to hold these little pumps on. And I got one set up for each side here. There you go. Let's see, you can move it around. Uh, and what that does is you can set it up with all kinds of crazy stuff. I really haven't got into it, but uh, I don't even know what all the settings do. But it uh, it'll do a surge and a pulse and and all, and you can uh, set it up for the wave action basically on a reef. And then I got the return coming up here and and kind of uh, bringing the water back to the top and sort of it creates a little. Nice effect on the, on, the, on the sand. So, so right over here is all that old school uh, lighting. That is all going to Goodwill. So, anybody in my area, hey, you know, there's cheap stuff going for cheap. But you know, when you got this, it's that puts that stuff to shame. And I'm thinking maybe I'll have a couple, another couple of light strips, maybe, because uh, with a with a uh, reef system and you have corals and tridagnia clamps and stuff like that, they have photosynthetic algae in them that uses the light to uh, to uh, create energy, just like uh, uh, trees do with the uh, uh, chlorophyll and plants. So, uh, and this kind of doesn't really look as blue as it should be. It looks more white, but, you know, I got a cheap phone camera, but it looks better than this, than that. But anyway, <coughs> so what you need, you need to get good light penetration. And, you know, if there's anything I'm fond of, and that's penetration. So, uh, so a couple more strips there. It might be a good thing. Uh, a lot of people use the 75 gallon with the reef setup because it's a little shorter in height and you don't have to have as a tin sliding to get down further. But I like the 90 gallon because it creates a larger environment for the fish and the corals and that and things don't go as far south when you have more water basically. So anyway that's uh, that's it for now. Uh, you don't have to like, you don't have to comment, you don't even have to freaking subscribe. Uh, I'm just here for the kicks of it. Uh, goodbye. And uh, one passing sentiment. Dreams are never free.